of these budget cuts right here to the Wilson building. So our council members will get to see these effects live and in color and hear from you, DC voters. We wanted to focus today on the children who cannot apply for jobs, who cannot go to job training programs, and who will be affected by these TANF cuts. 7,000 families will have their benefits go from $428 to $257. That's about more than 40%. Could you live on less than 40% of your income? No. I present you with this stuff annual that represents my child, my children, and the children of many other people alike that are trying, that have made some successes but do need some support, continued support, the real kind that helps us get where we would like to be. We all want to be independent and I hope that you know that and everyone will understand that at, by the close of today. DC General, due to unfortunate circumstances, like my family was became homeless. I'm a mother of three children. Um, I think the budget cut should not go through because if this happens, many people behind me will have nowhere to go. Should these cuts go through, they will close all shelters, every single one, for single women and men, with the exception of hypothermia season. The face of homelessness has changed. We have people that are working two or three jobs that are homeless. We have young people going to school every day. We ask them to get good grades and they don't even know where they're going to be sleeping at night. That is unacceptable in the District of Columbia. It's unacceptable in the nation's capital. We will not let that happen. So keep knocking on these doors. <laughs> asking council member Alexander to help us save our safety net, particularly interim disability assistance, which enables individuals who are waiting to be approved for SSI or SSDI funds so that they can live. For the grace of God, it could happen to you. And all these members out here, they got and the people working in a budget office and they take their little pen or their pencil and they want to X out. Does anybody ever think about a consequence? What are the consequences of these cuts? Yeah. We need these services. You know, if you never walked in our shoes, you don't know. But you need to feel what we feel and to do the job that she need to do or she can be moved away, you know, at, at a time when time, both the time coming. Yeah. Yeah. If I understand it, you want the safety net programs restored. We are also asking that you implement progressive revenue, including the mayor's income tax brackets, if not surpassing the mayor's income tax brackets. Every year, as it has been in four years, human services has taken the brunt of those cuts. Therefore, if we introduce progressive revenue, namely new income tax brackets, we will not have to have that problem next year or the year after that or the year following. We will instead be able to give us one DC, which is not a second DC that has haves and have nots, but a one DC that is comprehensive and reflective of the diversity of the people who live here. That's it and that is all. Are we in agreement? Yeah. Yeah. 
If we can restore the cuts without raising taxes, that's what I am prepared to do, and that's what I'm Mr. Um, Brown, how do you propose to get the money? I just want to know, because realistically, can you be honest with us? Because it's not going to come out of thin air. How are you going to get it? We're going through the budget process as we speak. We're going to do every single thing I can to restore, as I just mentioned, all the homeless services, look at the TANF, look mm -hmm. at the IDA. That's, that is a commitment that I have to this group to do. Can I have a question? You didn't answer the question. Where is the money going to come I, from? I need to ask one Mr. Brown, we are not going to vote for you next time.